Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars. We do Revit, Navis work, and AutoCAD training, support, and implementation. That's a mouthful. Uh, we also do, do BIM coordination and BIM modeling. Uh, in this example, we're going to talk about how we can build upon the last video, which was shared coordinates. In this model, I have a building B, which is linked. I have a building A that's linked, and I have a building C, which that's a, I'm actually in right now. I'm in building C. Now, sometimes you may have a master plan, and you want to export a portion of the building out to work on it, then maybe link it back in. Uh, we can do that. We can also export some of this stuff out and then link it back into other files. So we're going to talk about how to do that. You'll notice here this is building A, and if we look over here in the properties, it says linked building A. Uh, I've actually drawn the walls in here, and I'm happy to be in model C, or in, let's say in my master. And I'm thinking, well, now I need to get this, these walls into my A building. Now, or you may take this section and say, you want, I want to write it out and link it back in, again, using shared coordinates. So we're going to look at two quick ways to utilize these tools. The first one is I'm going to grab all these uh, walls here. I'm going to hold the control key down and grab these two little markers. That's just our, um, a note to know where it is. Uh, the first trick is if I want to take this out of here and bring it back in, I can actually use groups. Now, if I fire up the word group, Revit's going to come up and ask for a name. I'm going to say this is um, A interior. Okay, whoop, so much for my typing. Let's try that again. A interior. Okay, A interior. Uh, and I'm going to put a one behind it because I did a, a video a moment ago. Uh, and we'll go ahead and hit OK on that. A interior one. Now I can take this insertion point and move it right here. Now if I have to use this again, I'm going to zoom in and make sure I get dead where I want to be. Boom. Now this is a group. Now the nice thing about groups, if I come down to the bottom, you will see there is a group in here called A interior. So if I needed to use or lay this out again, I could come in here and drag and drop, let it go. And notice the insertion point, if I hit right here, bam, notice all those walls line up nice and neat. See the insertion right there. So that is how you can use groups. Um, according to Revit and their technical crew, you want to use groups sparingly, and that's fine. But if I needed to place something in quick, that's a good way to do it. Uh, another way to get groups from one project to another is once you create the group, you can right click and actually do a save as. Uh, so see it says save group. It actually will write it out as its own file, project Revit. So you can go to your desktop, go to your folder, and I think I called it A interior one. I hit save, I've just written that out to a file. And I can then bring it into another project, and there it is, and place it, which is pretty awesome. So if you have certain layouts, maybe you're working on who knows what, and you need multiple copies, you can bring it in. The other way is to take this group uh, and convert it to a link. Now, this could be a nice feature if I have a building that has lots of stuff going on and try to break it up, or if I just need to bring it into another location and I want it to fall exactly in the same spot. Now, it's going to be two steps to do this, but you'll see how easy it is for us to do it. I'm going to say same as group name. Now, I already have one as... Um, a interior one, I'm going to call this A interior two. So A interior two. Okay, we're going to hit save on that. So what's happening is it's actually being written out to its own file, which you can see right there, and now it's being linked back in. So what does that do for us? If I'm having issues with points and, you know, I, I want to make sure it drops dead in the right project, you'll notice how this project here, now I'm in building C, you can see it's setting single walls. I've got A linked, I've got B linked, and now I've got A interiors linked. Now I'm going to grab this guy, and you'll see it is a linked file. But being a linked file, I can also use shared coordinates. I'm going to go manage. I'm going to say publish coordinates. Now I'm going to publish the points in build in my main project C to this one here. Hit publish coordinates, and I pick this, and it says, do you want to publish? Yes. So what it's doing is it's actually taking that file and writing in these coordinates, which will make it, you know, make it happy. At this point, I'm going to go up and make sure it remembers this. This is the critical part. Go to Insert, Manage Links, and I'll say Building A Interior, Save Positioning. Save it. So now I know that I've created, in essence, a block, if you're an AutoCAD person, and I've made sure that I've synced all the insertion points. Now let's go ahead and close this. Save changes to building C, and we'll save them for later. All right, so now close out. I'm going to go ahead and open up building A now. I open up building A, and building A happens to have building uh, B linked in, and that's fine. And being that we were using 
uh, shared coordinates, we could actually link in building C and everything would work fine. But that's in the previous video. Now, let's take a look at how we could bring in those points. I'll go up top, I hit insert or the interior walls. I go blink Revit, right? I come down here and I've got one called uh, in a interior two. I want to bring it in, bring it into shared coordinate systems. I hit OK, boop, falls dead in. Uh, notice there, it's just a way to kind of tell Revit these are my base points and I'm going to use them over and over again. So now, here's where it gets kind of nice. <clears throat> I'm going to close out of this. By using all these shared points, if for some reason I was breaking a building into A and B and this, I could actually open up the interior building, A interior 2, and I hit OK. Now, uh, that doesn't have anything linked in it right now. There it is, right? So it came in earlier. I can go up top and quickly go insert link Revit. I can pick any of these buildings. Buildings A, tie in by shared coordinates. I hit open, bam, falls right in the spot. Uh, ooh. What happened there? I must not have chose shared coordinates. Let's say close on that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Made me nervous there for a moment. Now I'll go ahead and again insert. Let's go, okay, let's go to uh, link. I'll bring in building B, shared coordinates, hit open, B drops in, and then I'll go to bring in building C. So even if I'm doing a little build out in this little area here, notice how I was able to export that information. Uh, it's its own file, and then I could bring in all the accoutrements, all the surrounding buildings, because we're all using those same points again. Uh, we'll go add another building, add building C, and hit open, and OK, and they all tie back together. Now it's getting a little upset because I have all these cross links, so it's telling me that these other two buildings will not be linked in when it brings C in. C has A and B are A linked into it, so this will not create a circular reference. I'm happy with that. I hit OK, and all my buildings come in. So now, no matter where you are in the game, whether you're working on the interiors over here and you need the exterior buildings, or in the exterior buildings and you need the interiors, all of these worlds now work together. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the tip. Check us out on the web at therevitguys.com.